Ciao! <laughs> Let's go! Morning my friends! It's time to leave Plovdiv and to head towards Turkey. So I've got about uh, a bit less than 200k to, to the border. So I'm gonna do it in two days. So let's go towards Turkey guys! <laughs> yeah! I don't understand. Ah, uh, physics. Huh? English. English, yeah. yeah. English, summer. You can go. What's, what's the problem? Pass Pass no. Pass Today? I go to Turkey. Today? Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. The car? Yeah. Uh, yeah Francis, all the way here. No problem. With France? Yeah. Po Matuno, po Otka, Nostrani? No problem, no. Dobre. Okay. Dagadaria. He tried to tell me it's forbidden to ride on the road. What the hell? <laughs> Come on. Oh, it was funny to have this uh, policeman stopping me. He was just telling me that uh, I cannot uh, ride on the road. He was telling me, you know, you should go to the small road. But uh, hey, what the hell? There are no small roads here in Bulgaria, so I don't really have a choice. I mean, I agree, it's not ideal and it's not pleasant to ride on this, uh, on this big road. But there are no other roads, so what can I do? <laughs> so I don't know, it was weird. And then I, I have a guy who stopped, stopped me and gave me that. For visibility, maybe it's a good idea. I'm gonna keep it. Well, the engine stopped. Ah, very nice. Let's see what this uh, error E010 means. Well, I have no idea what is going on, but uh, basically I removed the battery, restart several times the engine, and the engine uh, and the error is gone now. And the error is back now. So now basically it's, it's detecting uh, that I, I'm pushing on the pedal uh, while I'm not pushing on the pedal. So that's quite weird. Okay, I'll see if I can uh, start it without getting this error again. Okay, I don't know, it's very weird. I, I started four times and the fourth time suddenly it's, um, the error is, is gone. Uh, I don't know. Well, I feel it's a problem of connection in the wire. So, well, I guess I'll, I'll check that when, when I will be in Istanbul, because I'll, I'll have some time there. Well, I hope I will not have this kind of uh, too many problems with the electric engine, because uh, that's going to be extremely hard to fix. Yeah, because that's kind of high tech and uh, I'm about to leave Europe and outside Europe, I guess it's going to be more complicated to fix this kind of things. Anyway, hopefully at least I can uh, I can keep uh, going today. Let's see how it goes. Well, it came back. Error E010 all the time. And basically the engine stops. Really nice. Yeah, 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 what the hell? It's, it's, it's weird because it, I get this E010 error and then I switch off the engine, I restart it. 
But then every time I restart the engine, it, it says that uh, I'm pushing on the pedal while I'm not pushing on the pedal. So there is a sensor that's saying something wrong. Okay, so I changed the battery to see if it's the battery. Oh my god. Uh, it's not the battery, I have the same problem. Oh, that's extremely annoying. Because basically the engine doesn't work anymore. Alright, so for today I'll keep going without the engine. I'll see if the problem solves itself. Uh, gets solved by itself. Yeah, we'll see at my ne next stopover. Uh, it's very annoying to have problems with the engine. I mean, everything else you can repair, but the engine, the electric engine, I cannot do anything. Well, I mean, I cannot do anything on the spot. It's very annoying. I tried again because the, I had a very short climb and it was, uh, was very hard without the engine even though it was not steep and I tried again and somehow so far it works and it stopped again okay I'm gonna go for some food I just understand I think I understand what happened went off so that's the problem oh my god so hopefully it's nothing with the engine it's just the wheel okay i'll see that after lunch still on? Yeah, i need to change the spoke so i need to dismantle the wheel <laughs> he speaks a bit French. Je m'appelle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yves. Yves. Yeah, Yves. Marine. Ma Marine. Marine. Nice to meet you. So we've got this cucumber soup and some meat. Energy to fix my bike. It looks good. Let's try the cucumber and yogurt soup. Hmm. Oh, it's cold actually. But I love these soups. There is a lot of deal. Mm. That's really good. Cucumber, yogurt and dill. Let's try the meat. Mm. Very good. Look at that, actually there is something inside. Wow. It's meat stuffed with uh, cheese. Mm. Très bon. Very good. <laughs> it's the first time I see some meat stuffed with things inside. Usually it's vegetables filled with meat. Here's the other way around. Mm. It's fantastic. Done with the food. So now it's time to change the spoke. I'm lucky I have spare spokes. So I should be able to get going today again. But I have to dismantle to dismantle the entire wheel. To replace the spoke. Well, it's a long job.
that's the tire disinflated. And now I need to remove the tire. Where's my first fork? Here it is. Oh. So I got a new spoke in. It might be, well, it's replaced. Hopefully it works. Well, actually I lost this part uh, at some point because to put this spoke behind this one, I had to unscrew this one. And the problem is when I unscrewed this one, this part actually went inside the tire, inside the structure of the, of the tire. Oh, so I had to, it was so complicated to get it back basically <sighs> so I lost time because of that because first I put the, the, the spoke this one on the outer part but then I noticed oh, all the others are uh, this one is always behind this one and I put this one in front so so I had to redo it basically I had to, to, to do it twice and then I lost this part inside the structure of the tire so it was uh, it was quite <laughs> it was complicated but now I'm done, hopefully I don't lose anything and uh, I can repack, reassemble my bike because it's all, uh, all messed up and hopefully I can, uh, I can continue uh, riding today Now better, I change uh, this, mm -hmm. this uh, yeah. broken, change Now I just... Uh, <sighs> difficult Yeah, yeah. Whoa, almost done. Oh my god. Hopefully it works, eh? Okay, I'm gonna repack everything and then let's go. Yeah, I repacked everything. I sit on the bike, it does not it does not uh, fall apart. That's the first good thing. Starting the engine. What? It's not starting. Oh, come on. Oh my god. The engine is not starting now. Come on. Ah, it still shows the same. Ah. That's... Holy... What the hell is that? How is that possible? Okay, this time the engine started without uh, the alarm, but I doubt I'm gonna go far. I'm sti I still have the same problem as before, basically. I don't know if it's linked to the fact that I, I rode with a broken spoke for some time or not, but, uh, well, the engine still doesn't work, basically. Okay, let's get going without the engine and see if, uh, well, see if I can go somewhere today. I was really hoping it was the, the, the spoke For some reason a sensor would have uh, 
felt something wrong but there is it's not only the spoke there is a there is an issue with the engine itself look at all those <laughs> that's insane look at that well now it works let's see for how long last time it worked for a uh, for 20 minutes and then it was was dead again okay it stopped working again basically it worked for a uh, half an hour then it stopped working so i finished the climb then it was almost all the time downhill and needed to be flat so without the engine i could i could continue but uh, that worries me a lot because uh, i mean without the engine when it's flat and downhill it's okay but uh, when it's uphill if it's steep there is no on it's full of ants here oh my god hey, today every day is a disaster everything it's like <sighs> everything i do is a disaster I, I go somewhere and it's full of ants anyway <laughs> anyway it's not working so if, if for the climbs uh, if when there is a climb Without the engine, I can't do it. I mean, I'm so slow. And if it's too steep, I just can't move on. So it's extremely annoying. I don't know what to do. Ah. Well, that's the update. I'm going to check in the internet. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to where I was. I wanted to go because I have 22 kilometers left. Uh, but there is a, a small hill on the way. And without the engine, the small hill... Uh, can take quite some time and it's already half past four sunset is probably at six so i don't know if i can go 20 more more than 20 kilometers before sunset so maybe i'll come somewhere on the way and uh, look in the internet see if I, can, if I can find something about the error i have but uh, what the hell see you when i have something else to tell you to complain again. So now it's working again. Doesn't make any sense. I think I'm gonna make it. Ah, what a day! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I take a photo to your passport, no problem. No problem, yeah. Okay. First floor? First, yes. Okay. Uh, you uh, pay power book uh, with booking? I pay with booking, yeah. Thank you, okay, okay. perfect. And uh, you know where I can put the bike? No problem. Just here? Here, right, no problem. Okay. Uh, okay, first floor, eh? First, yes. Okay, look at that. Fourteen, yeah, okay, look at that. Hey! He bite me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this mini dog is aggressive. <sighs> so. Well, not bad. Let's check the bathroom. Very clean. I guess it's. Uh, it looks like it's. Uh, it's an empty hotel. Look at this uh, this place. It's funny. It's supposed to be a swimming pool, but it's only in uh, in summer. <laughs> I like the green. So I'm gonna park the bike here. So it's protected from the rain.
That's perfect. It's funny because uh, I was about I, I was I was thinking I should not film today because since I'm in Bulgaria, nothing happens on the on the road, nothing happens in the city. I mean, not any nothing special happens. So basically, I have the impression that my uh, what I film is boring now. So I thought oh, I'm, I'm not gonna film because uh, I have nothing special to nothing special to show. <laughs> and just the day I thought, oh, it's useless to film. <laughs> Many things happen. I get stopped by the police. They want to to tell they want to tell me no, you, you can't ride on the road while there are no other roads. And then uh, and then and then I break my bike. Basically, the engine stops working. I break a spoke. Oh my God, what a day! I'm, I'm exhausted, really. Because like I, I rode maybe like 15 or 20 kilometers without engine, with this bike, with the weight. Oof. Well, <laughs> you need to push. Anyway, I might have found the the issue I had with the engine. Hopefully, basically, it's, uh, from what I've seen in internet, it's a it's a problem of connection between the battery and the engine. So there is a, a poor connection. So so what I did is I cleaned a little bit the connectors between the battery and the engine, and uh, it seems it's working. I mean, at the end of the day, it worked for one hour without uh, without stopping. So I hope I have found a solution and uh, I have solved this problem. But uh, it's a little bit worrying because I still have, I mean, I did about 4,000 kilometers, well, plus the four, plus the training, so a bit more than 4,000 with the bike, and it's already, the engine already has, uh, doesn't work properly. So it's, it's quite annoying, especially when I know that I have a lot of kilometers to go still. So basically what I did, I cleaned that, that's the connectors, and I, well, I, I just blowed basically inside here, inside the, inside here. That's where the, the battery gets connected to the engine. And it seemed it worked. I will see when I get going again. But uh, for today, for the last, uh, last hour of today, it worked. It did work. And in the end, I managed to do 110 kilometers today, despite of the problems I had. My God, I feel so weak. I need to eat something. Well, that's it. The issue was the connectors and hopefully it's solved. Ah.